Okay. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Be here on the OntologyInshow.com, and I'm inside Borderlands 2, and we have a full party with four players in there, and I have one more friend who's sitting out on the sideline. Now, guys, I'm pretty sure you've been in this situation for yourself as well. You have four people in your party, and one more friend wants to join, and his room is filled. This has happened to you too, right, Chinda Air King? Yep. All right, guys, so as you just heard, I've been joined by Chinda Air King from the Air King Network. He has his own YouTube channel as well. Links in the description to that. He does a lot of Borderlands video, Left 4 Dead, and Pokemon giveaways. But you here, and you told me for Borderlands 3 prediction this week, you wanted to join me to talk about co-op. What do you want to see from co-op going forward? Bigger multiplayer. Like, let's say instead of four, let's go for eight. Go crazy. So what would need to change about the world? Wouldn't it need to be bigger? Yeah, make it bigger. More loot, more enemies to face down, more XP leveling up. Go for it. Yeah, I just definitely see an eight-player co-op working out for Borderlands 3. I mean, I think it's a good prediction. I would like to see it as well, but I just think it needs to be done right. As, you, as it stands right now, Borderlands... With four people, gets quite hectic. You can agree with me on that, right? Yes, you can easily get gunned down by a badass boss. Yeah. So even with four people, it's pretty hard right now. As you see, I'm just playing a badass right here. He's pretty low level. But if they did go ahead and go all the way up to eight players, what I would actually like to see, it's not like you always have eight players. Let's say it like this. I would prefer not every mission have a full eight player. I think the base game should still be four player co-op. And how it works is like certain missions you could have up to eight players. So I could give a good example of that. Certain boss fights, you know when you're fighting the bunker? Uh-huh. Let's say that would be like an epic boss fight, fight that needs eight players, right? I could see that because that was a pretty tough boss the first time you play it if you're pretty lo low level. So let's say naturally when you're playing on Borderlands 2 right now, when you're mm -hmm. online, all you need to do to play an online game is just set your game to, so people will join you. So the way it should work is Borderlands should always try to merge players together. If you have your game set to open, imagine this. You go to the bunker. When you get to the bunker, randomly four other players just randomly join your game. And now there's eight people trying to beat the bunker all at once. You get it? Uh-huh. And that's how I see it working. The thing about this, I would see that the loot system might need to change because now you're playing with four random people that might end up taking your loot, which might be bad. But if you have your game open to public, then that, you might have to expect that anyways, right? Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I've been in public matches. I know people are going to hate me, but I remember we killed the warrior. We finally killed it. The freaking uh, got everyone was searching for good stuff and loot and iridium. I spot the conference call. I take it without no one knowing. Then everyone was like pissed, like, oh, we couldn't find any legendaries. Then the guy goes in the screen, is like, here, let me give you something. He throws out another conference call. I somehow air grab it and leave the game, and I like ninja thief thing left. Oh, so you're the ass. So you're that asshole. <laughs> I, I was that because like, oh my god, I never had an orange weapon before. Like, let me snag. I can understand that. The first time you get your first orange weapon, you're really excited. You have to pick it up. So maybe with eight players, Borderlands would need to change the way they do their loot some ways. But I say if you do a public game, right now I like the chase for loot. I like the fact that everybody's fighting over the loot. I like that we have to trade loot. I don't know. I understand that some people say, like, everybody should get their own individual loot. You know, or, like, right now, I'm about to go to the golden chest and just open it up real quick randomly. I understand, like, not everybody's going to have 54 golden keys like I have 54 golden keys. But I like I like having to fight for loot. That's just me okay. personally. Can I just say this? Go ahead. Uh, I remember this from, if you ever, uh, spreading the borderline between games and, and TV and anime. Mm -hmm. You remember Sword Art Online? Yes. Remember how it said that if you kill a boss, the kill, the person who killed the boss gets to get the special prize loot from him? Maybe something like that, if it's like bigger multiplayers. Okay, so maybe with eight players, the loot system needs to change, but I definitely see eight players making the game a lot more fun. I love the little one-liner for all the characters. If you think about the game as it is right now, we have plenty of characters. We have Salvador, Maya. There's enough characters just from the first two games, and plus the characters that will be coming out in the third game to make it up to eight players. I just think that a four player base would be really nice. And for more boss fights and really big bosses, the ability to bring in another set of four players to play along with you might really work great. So could you imagine mm -hmm. for the warrior in the new game, let's just say there's a it's the end boss, instead of it just being the four players, you now have eight players with you fighting this end boss. And somehow it will actually make sense for the story because could, it could be like this. Everybody's on the same big giant quest. But once you get to the end of the um, end of the like you know last area in the boss fight, suddenly uh -huh. you, all everybody's just together. You get it? 
Uh huh. Yeah. So that's just how I see Borderlands Three going. It's just our prediction for today, guys. Be here with YoungTileGames.com with Shindy Air King. We'll be back with more Borderlands Three predictions next week. Sorry that this episode was late, but I've been trying to fix up my computer. Shin has been kind of late on his um, giveaway videos, but you've been busy with school, right, man? Yeah, school midterms. They all suck. It's yeah, like hell week for us. Yes, yeah, hell week for us. All right, guys. So we have all these cool characters as you can see right now. All these costumes, all this different gear you could get for Borderlands. Two right now, and even Borderlands One had all that cool stuff. We'd love to see all this stuff getting carried over to Borderlands Three. Check out my other rest of my Borderlands Three predictions. I'll be back next week with something more in depth. Later, guys. Later.